you know, we worked really hard this past week and um, really um, tried to, um, you know, get over the disappointment of the first game. Um, and the way we did that was to just assess what what is it that we like in a in a real foundational way what was it that we needed to do better and that um, was that we needed to keep the ball better you know we needed to um, be able to get uh, have the confidence and the composure to get the ball out of pressure and um, and move the ball up the field a little bit more patiently um, and aggressively but patiently we were just so impatient on the, in the first game against Army. And so um, my thoughts on the game are in the first half, we played the way I envision us playing. And I think the way that this team is capable of playing, um, we saw uh, that poise and that composure and that confidence. And, um, and, and that was really um, uh, a credit to the kids to be able to shift really quickly after that disappointment and apply the, 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 the messaging and the coaching and the practice that we did all week and, and put it into the game. And you know, um, trust the process that if they did that, that they would uh, they would have success. My two yeah. great goals and Jenna, Jenna, you know, a couple stars of the game, but she certainly is, you know, star number one. Um, and certainly being able to have um, the possession turn into opportunity at goal and finishing is um, it, it rewards you and it makes you feel like, yeah, this is this is the way to do it. You know, sometimes it takes. 85 minutes to score a goal. Um, I thought we dictated in the first half and um, I thought we earned those goals, and I, but that doesn't always, you can dictate and you can possess and outpossess the team. I think we had 170 something passes in the first half, but that doesn't necessarily always turn into goals. I think what, what has been good this week and I think we showed today is that we, we use the possession effectively and we use the possession to, um, to penetrate. It's not just possession for possession's sake. Uh, certainly it's about, if you have the ball, you're not defending, and um, it's a lot um, less energy to attack than it is to be constantly defending. So there's sort of this psychological element and physical element, but it doesn't necessarily translate into penetration or getting getting a goal. And I thought the kids, again, in training this week, they're recognizing moments where, you know, we've got pressure is broken and we have opportunities to break lines. And, and I thought they did that today, in the particularly in the first half. The second half got a little bit, you know, of... Um, I'd say not frantic so much as, um, you know, we're, we're just trying to manage the game. I think we can manage the game a little bit better um, with a little bit more poise, but um, you know, that's, that's the next thing to work on. Yeah. Well, they, 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 um, they're building cohesion now that they can be spending more time together. Uh, COVID has really affected the ability to have the team um, connect like they have in past years over the course of a preseason and spending a lot of time together in each other's rooms and in the locker room and on the bus together. So, you know, for all teams, that's just not our team. It's been, um, that's been a challenge, but that cohesion and that camaraderie is really building the more they're spending time together. And they also have a lot of pride um, in representing BU women's soccer and the history that, you know, in the, the past, um, the past teams and the, and the traditions there's a lot of pride, and so um, I think that you that they that they know that their you know that their expectations are high, and they're held they're holding themselves to a high standard because um, they they feel like wearing the jersey is uh, meaningful, and that it comes with a responsibility to um, to um, uh, keep the keep the um, program at at a point. But I think more, more than that. Um, one of the mantras this week was um, you know, having trust in each other, but in order to, to, to really, um, the, first, the first level is having trust and belief in yourself and, and that you're accountable to having trust and belief in yourself and demonstrating that, even if you have to fake it a little bit. Um, I think we've, we've always had boatloads of support and trust in each other and, you know, and, and, and connection and supporting, but, it, but, but it, that doesn't mean that you're not responsible for bringing um, your uh, belief and your trust in yourself that you've that you're capable of of making an impact and 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 that is not a, a responsibility that we're going to allow people to shirk where they kind of get to hide behind no you, you got to stand in front like you you've got to if you want to be successful as a team you can't be standing behind people and say well I'll support her to be successful you've got to you've got to step up and that was one of the messages this week. And I thought that um, players did that. I mean, Jenna Oldham has just been, I, I, I just can't 
say enough about how she's led by action every single day in training. And for her to have her day today, um, it's a long time coming. The kid has uh, always been one of the, you know, the most effort, uh, you know, effort, wor hardworking, put in the, put in the effort, doesn't say a peep, um, will, will work, you know, until she falls over. And, um, and, and will do so to even to cover what, you know, she's not thinking about this cover, but like if her teammates, um, you know, if, so, if something isn't, isn't working, you know, she'll try to go fix it. Like, even if it's not her job, she's going to go try to fix it. And, um, you know, that's the kind of thing we want for our, from our core leaders, from our older players, that they demonstrate that aggressiveness, but that poise and that confidence. Um, and I think uh, Jenna and certainly MK and AJ and Morgan today had, a, had a, a very solid game. And I thought she had a good presence and made a huge save. So, and then the other kids will, you know, then you get young players like Alyssa Bourgeois, who's played 90 minutes today and, um, and really shows what she's capable of.